data object services are specially configured services that use a web handler or a REST transport to enable client access to OpenEdge data and operations. You create clients that access data object services using a number of mobile and web app development tools such as Telerik Platform and Kendi UI Builder. In this video, we will create a data object service called Sports Inc. Service that when invoked will use business entity class file customer.cls to connect to the Sports 3000 database and fetch the customer data. To create a data object service, you must first create an ABL web app project in Progress Developer Studio for OpenEdge. We select File, New, OpenEdge Project to launch the new OpenEdge Project Wizard. We specify Sports Inc. as the project name, retain the default project location, select ABL Web App as the project type, and then click Next. ABL Web App is the project type that we need to create a data object service that we want to deploy to an instance of the Progress Application Server for OpenEdge. On the Provide ABL Web App Deploy Details page, we ensure that the Deploy as Web App is selected. By default, the web application is named after the project, which in this case is Sports Inc. We select the Progress Application Server for OpenEdge instance to which we want to deploy our data object service, and then we click Next. On the Create an ABL Service page, we select Data Object as the service type. We retain WebSpeed Web Handler as the service provider. Web Handler is recommended because it provides full REST support. We retain Sports Inc. Service as the service name. We review the service URI, and then we click Next. We retain the default settings on the Select AVM and Layout Options page and on the Define ProPath page. Then we need to select the database connection on the Select Database Connections page and click Finish. The Sports Project is created and displayed in the Project Explorer. Notice that the Sports Inc. service is under Define Services. Next, we must create a data object interface for this service using the Define Service Interface Wizard. But first, we must import the files that we need to create our data object interface. We right-click App Server and select Import, Import. The Import Wizard appears. We select General File System. Then we browse to the directory that has our business entity source files. We select customer.cls and customer.i and click Finish to import these files into the App Server folder. Next, we right-click the customer class file, customer.cls, and select Progress Open Edge Define Service Interface. The Define Service Interface wizard appears. We ensure the data object is selected as the definition mode and the customer CLS is selected under Workspace Resources. Since we want the data object service to fetch customer details when the service is invoked, we select Read Customer from the list of operations displayed under ABL Routines and then click Next. This opens the Edit Annotation page. On the Main Annotation tab, we select Enable Main Annotation. We ensure that Singleton is selected as the execution mode. We select DS Customer as the schema, and then we open the CRUD Annotation tab. We map the read operation to the read customer routine name, and then open the Field Annotation tab. Here, we can define semantic types. A semantic type specifies the functional usage for a particular temp table field. In this case, we want to ensure that the phone numbers are entered in a specific format. To do this, we select TT Customer as the temp table, phone as the field, semantic type as the annotation, phone number as the semantic type, and then we click Apply. Finally, we finish to complete the service interface definition. Next, we'll edit Sports Inc. service to use the data object interface that we just defined. Now we'll start our Progress Application Server for OpenEdge instance for the changes to take effect. Now we'll test if the data object service was successfully deployed. We'll use the resource URI to access the service using a web browser. As you can see, customer details are fetched from the database. 
You have now seen how to create a Progress OpenEdge Data Object Service. To learn more about creating data object services, see the course titled Creating Progress OpenEdge Data Object Services for Kendo UI Builder.